Hey guys, it's Andrew Huang. So today's video, if you hadn't guessed already, is inspired by Andrew Huang, a fantastic musician who you should definitely check out. I'll leave a link to him down below. We're basically going to take an audio file or a sample and myself and four of my musician friends are going to make a song out of it. Simple enough, right? Right. <laughs> Today we've got an international cast for you. From Netherlands we've got Mr. Ask, from USA we've got Kason, from France we've got Madsen, and Alex Bersch, who's definitely Norwegian. Yep, 100% from Norway. I'll leave links to all their work down below, so please do check them out. They're fantastic musicians and even better human beings. If you'd like to be included in one of the next few challenges, join the Discord down below. Or even if you don't, come say hi anyway. So to get started, I made a sample over on Twitch, where I live stream at 7pm on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays, so definitely check that out. But here's the sample we made. Alright, that's the sample. Let's see what our musicians have made today. Alright, what's up everybody? It's your boy Kason, and here's the breakdown for my beat. So we started off by taking the original loop, chopped it up, threw it inside a sampler, and we played it three different times. First time, like this, we pitched it down eight. And that's pretty much playing throughout the entire beat. So we kept that same sound, just duplicated the track, we played this underneath it. Then we took the original, the original chops and pitched it back up four to throw this last thing underneath it. Then the last thing we did with this was take the first note from this section and reverse it. And then after that, I was like, okay, we need to kind of beef it up a little bit more. So we threw some pads over it, which is the combination of these two. And those kind of just helped fill in the space that was like needed to be filled in. Next, we kind of threw this little pluck pad kind of thing on there, just like one note's playing. It's a solid foundation so far. Now we move on to the next section. Started off by throwing a bell on here. And then after that, I threw this lead on here, which isn't really a lead. It can be used as one, but I used it more of like a pluck or even a stab, if you, if you will, like a synth kind of thing. And there's this last little like high pitch plug that we threw on top of that. And I wanted to throw like one more thing on there. So I was like, you know, what, what can we do? So I grabbed this piano and you can barely hear this in the beat, but it's still there. But it's just like some little ear candy or whatever. Normally I would go to the drums next, but for this beat, we started working on the basses and like the low end kind of stuff. So this is what we started off with. Okay, so after playing that, I was like, yeah, that's cool because I normally don't do like slides like that in my bases or 808s. So I was like, you know what, we need to kind of beef this up a bit. So we threw this 808 on top of it. It's pretty much playing the same thing. They just use this more as accent notes. So then after that, I was like, okay, let's move on to the drums now since we pretty much got everything else done. So we started off with the hi-hats. Then next, we got the claps and the snares, which is only three of them. And lastly, the kick, two crashes, plus the reversed crashes that we used. Okay, and then for the transition, it's really simple. I literally just took a note from the bass line that we played on the first one and a down filter, reversed it, and then that's how we came up with this. Like really simple, nothing too crazy about it. And then lastly, I wanted to try something different for the drums. So what I did was before I mixed everything, I kind of took the drums, leveled them out, and then bounced them all down to one track. Then I threw some effects on it. Nothing, just just like a little stereo with plug-in, a balancer to kind of help even more level the sounds out, and then like a little slight EQ. And then that's how we get this. Now that may be doing more harm than good, but I just wanted to test it out. So we have that underneath all the drums. And now for the final section, we basically just took the main melody. I cut it in half and then just repeated that. Then I chopped that in half and reversed some sections. And then that's how we get this. Basically the same thing up there, just slightly different if you can tell. We switched up the drums on this section and it gives it more of a, a drill type beat kind of vibe, which I wasn't trying to do, but like just the hi-hats kind of took me in that direction. Last thing, the most important thing, you gotta throw your tags and your beats. So shout out to 93 Acres for letting me be a part of this and uh, hopefully it'll throw me in the next one. All right, y'all, we out. Yeah, there's a sample. Okay, you chopped it up. I love the editing on the sample, super cool. Nice and atmospheric. Nice cutting. Oh, bah, bah, bah. Nah, 
nice. All right. Chill synth wave. A small builder. Yeah, I love those those chords in the background. That's sick. Like the the vibe here. Really cool. Kason just went up. Kason just went up. Oh, there's a tag. All right. His vibes. Nice. Ah, oh, his drums always hit so hard. Nice lead in the background. Yeah, no hit. Drum drama. I still like how we chopped it. It's really like the bass. What would you? I don't know what to call that sound, but I love whatever that sound is. I love it. The, the, the one that's panning back and forth. Mm -hmm. Oh, the low bass, real nice. Bells. That's what I like. Oh, moody. I like the vibe overall. Really. Lo yeah, awesome work with the hi hats, man. Yeah. He did good. He did a good job with the drums. I'm impressed. Uh, the top melodies were amazing. <laughs> Kason's drums always hit so hard. You just know it's him straight away. The the percussion master here, Kason, of course. A cool beat. Hey, this is Madsen. I'm gonna show you how I twisted the sample from 93 acres. So I just took his sample, left it as it was. No cuts, nothing. I just transposed it two semitons lower to make it better, a better key for my track because I produce bass music and bass in D sharp are really great in my opinion. I kept it like that, simple, just here. I just added my things like bass, strings, and stabs that have been filtered and tear opens in time. I just love the, the melody of the piano, this one. But I just made a little bass for my for my drops, like this. The same key, exactly the same key, but I just made a patch with serum, like this. Simple. Just I can't explain how I made the sound because I don't know. <laughs> Just tweaking knobs and, and buttons. The bass is simple. Uh, this. Simple rhythm too. Adding some elements, second part. Always keeping that little reminder of the of the main sample. But I did something really liked. I just put a reverb on the main piano, like this, and the filter. To make again a little recall from the main sample. Yeah, some variations here and there for the bass, some chorus for this one. The uplifter, the riser in the drop. It's just the main main piano, the first note, just repeating as you can see. Transposing to just hear that uh, without the reverb. And with the reverb, it sounded cool, so I kept it. And I used it for the riser too. That's all, I think. Yeah, just you you could hear everything else in the in the track. So that's it. I hope you enjoy. You can find me uh, on on cloud, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Madsen Music. And uh, I hope we'll, I will see you there. Straight away, love love the uh, the atmosphere. <laughs> what? Epic intro off the start. Like, come on now. Oh, this could be Batman. Those heavy, like, war drums. Epic drums. Here it comes. Cinematic drums, I think. Maybe it is Batman movie. <laughs> I already know what's coming. Oh, I thought I was gonna kick up. Here it is. We're getting a drop? Yeah, it's so good. This is tense. This is bribery because, like, Matt Sun just knows that I love this kind of music. Damn. <laughs> yeah. That's that Madsen bass. Sick bass. Like, what am I, what, like, what are we doing? What am I listening to at this point, bro? I'm probably yelling. Kick drum hits hard. Oh, it's so heavy. Yeah, like, I would legitimately just, like, sit back and listen to this. <laughs> oh, those synths. I would drive and listen to this. Okay, I like to little break down for a couple seconds in there. I'm probably yelling. Love the melodic structure in it. <laughs> Amazing. So much OTT. I love the OTT. Amazing. Ah. Uh...
Yeah, that, that's cool. That's really cool. I give mad respect to anybody who makes music like that because I can't touch it, won't touch it, don't touch it, don't need to because you got people like that. Uh, nice bass, good drums. Cinematic drums in the intro were amazing. Gonna need a breather after that one. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Madsen's bass. Crazy. What's up guys, my name is Mr. Ask and I'm gonna talk about my beat and I'm gonna get straight to the point I lost my FL Studio project. It's gone, it's on my dead hard drive, it's kinda sad. Yeah, that's the story behind it. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about it in this way. Uh, so what I did at the beginning in the intro, I did, uh, I did put some half time on the melody, uh, some rain effects, then the drum and the HR8 kicks in. Uh, standard drum pattern, uh, easy hi hats uh, with a triplet on the end. Uh, HR8 with some slides. Then we get a tape stop with a gunshot. And that's the moment when I put the melody in reverse. I set the top melody in reverse. And then there hits another HR8. Drum patterns are the same. Hi hats are the same. And that's the easy story behind this, and that's it. Right, Watchtower next. Ah, slow and emotional. Love how you slow the sample down, that's cool. Am I slow? Ba -da -da -da. No. How time change? The way the 808 came in, that was nice. Mr. Ask on the beat. Nice 808. Like it's like real simple and it's like got a low-key vibe, but it's still dope. Gotta get that tag in there. Last groovy. Ooh, slight bass. Yeah, that bass is sick too, the... Oh, nice bass move with that, real nice. Oh yeah, that little counter melody on the piano or whatever? That fits this perfectly. Right? Counter melody with the... Getting shots for poison. It's like this beat's so simple, but it's still dope at the same time. Samples, nice. Got a little reverse action going on. It's grooving there. The vibe here is cool. Simple but cool. Yeah, back straight in. I like that bass. That's sick, okay. Yeah, I like the little switch up at the end. It's kind of, I don't know if everything's in reverse, but like a lot of things are. And that's it. Hello? Because I've been kind of doing that recently too. So yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Who is this? <laughs> I like the bass, really. Love the random samples from there, so gravy, so gravy. We should probably start with the sample itself, which I mostly just chopped up. It's, as you can see right here, it's been quite butchered. I've taken a bunch of small slices of it and done various things to it. I think actually in terms of this, this little beat in general, um, I kind of like the theme or like the main idea behind it. The brass layer itself is just a contact library, brass ensemble. I like it because it is big. It's just big. You can crank that up, turn the release down so you get more like a stabby, or just, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Obviously that, that is usually the case with contact libraries. Intro to this track is just horrible. So basically I spent all of my time working on this section and then I was running out of time and I was like, okay, I have to submit something. So in instead of what we should have, we have a little tease of the lead here and then all of the energy just kind of dies out and then it jumps into the main loops. Um, there should definitely be like a snare riser or something here to give it more energy. Speaking of snares, I don't know why I still have this as a clap. This should definitely be a snare. Um, the clap is just kind of weak, although now it has overdrive on it, which makes it slightly better. The main lead is made from a tiny little fragment of the sample that we were given, and I've just basically dragged that into Serum to create a wavetable from it, and then I have a little bit of wavetable position automation happening with this LFO here to give it a bit of movement just between two waveforms, I think it's just two, um, yeah, or three. So it just kind of moves a little bit. I took a little segment of the sample and put it into Granulizer 2, which is just a granular synthesis plugin. I don't really know what that means, but I know that it makes cool sounds, so I've used it to create kind of a texture. Obviously, I have some idea what it means. But um, yeah, you just get this kind of weird texture sound that I then have running through too much sidechain compression, uh, and there's an auto filter that has automation on and off 
because it makes a really loud tinny sound at the beginning that I didn't like and I didn't want to do anything more complicated than that. Uh, we also have the growl section. Not much to say here, there are two little growl samples that pan left and right. Um, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it more than I do because I just hear what it can be and what it is and those are very different. So uh, I may revisit this at some point and try and make it not suck so much, but at least I have a good idea for how to accomplish that. So yeah, pretty much it. Oh, tense. Come on, Alex. Deep bass. Very deep. Oh, I can already feel it. Got a nice intro on this one. I like the filter effect. Oh, all right. Oh, cool lead. Nice. Good. You scratching? I said so good. The dress is nasty. I like the pans on the bass. That's it. So good. And the pans real nice. <laughs> Those kind of trumpets out wide. A brass? Those are pretty cool too. Ah, uh, you're gonna leave it like that. I want more. <laughs> it's like that was such a simple beat, but like just cause like the bass and that like main synth, like that really like filled it up. Sweet Alex, so nice man. So nice. Yeah. That was cool. That was class. Yeah, that's a solid beat. That's a solid beat overall. Cool build up with the filter on the bass. Really clean. I loved it. All right, so I suppose it's my turn then. Sweet, okay, breakdown time. So what did I do? I took the sample, I put it into a quick sampler, pitched it down a tiny bit, and we had a few sounds, and they sounded... They sounded a little bit like that, and then we put them together, ended up with something like this. I love that slide bit. So that's the first bit of using the sample. I also used the sample in the beginning. So just straight up, exactly the sample, just use it straight up. I started halfway through, I had it going on for ages, but you get bored if it was the whole way. I also have a tempo change, so I have the sample playing at its original BPM at 89, and then I ramp it up to 140 in a sort of drop fashion, if you will. I also have this piano, I also chopped up the piano in the bit where it ramps up the BPM. So see if you can pick that out as well. That's another use of the sample and it helps lead to the BPM change as well. Cool. Other things I'm throwing on top of that is basically we have, I think one of the main things is our guitar and bass, which are playing together to do something like this. I really like that. Sliding with the guitars was good fun. I actually used a software bass for this. And as for drums, I think the drums are the only last thing then I really want to talk about. I tried to copy the k Trinata style where you have snares a little bit early, hi-hats running a bit late and kicks are a bit late as well. And it gives a kind of a drunk feel. Yeah, I just love that. Feels like it's kind of drunk feeling a little bit. Whoa. So I like those drums. Gives a bit of a bounce. Something new I wanted to try. So that was it. And then the one last thing, I thought the piano sample wasn't just enough. I had to get one more sample in and I uh, <laughs> may have sampled. Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative. It's a theme that keeps coming up on stream. So I thought I'd give it a go. Let's see if you can hear it. All right, that's pretty much it. Let's get into it. All right, 93 acres, the man himself. I like the percussion in the background for the intro, I said. No one knows what it means, but Mason. it's provocative. It's the people, it's the people going. I love the, the samples. Good stuff. Much more chilly. All that junk. Alright. Black on beats. He choked it right there. Drunk of my lady, huh? I'm mad. I'm get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get drunk. I'm gonna get, 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 Everybody had dope beats and like just completely different styles. I mean, mine and like Watchtowers are kind of the same with like the hip hop and then like 
Alex's and Madsen's were kind of the same with the with the whole genre, but like they're still completely different beats, and they're all dope. Uh, 93 Acres, his was okay, whatever. We won't we won't talk about that one, but yeah, yeah, yo, good job. Round of applause, everybody. Round of applause. Round of applause. All right, you're probably not even gonna put this in here, but if you do, man, you're 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 a goat. Okay, if you put this in here, you're a goat. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, we out. Uh, I wonder if you hear my chair squeaking. Yeah, you probably do. So you're probably not gonna put this in there though, cause that'd be bad. Or just throw some stuff over it. Whatever, man. All right, I'm out.